Arkansas where I sing our national anthem. Outside, it's the daytime. And the nice out there viewers, what do you think? What do you think about the daytime? I think it's nice. Isn't it nice outside? It's good that we're outside that we can we can look out there and see the the sun and everything. It's over there. Look out the window. That's the window over there, and it's bright outside. It's so bright. No, it's too bright. Can't see anything out there. You see more when you do this? Woo! Whoa! Hey, remember that one time? I'm having a memory. Whoa! Uh, what are we gonna do today? Maybe we're gonna get the things. I kind of want to look at the tape again. We did Monday. Because it's bird been here for three days, we haven't had a chance to look at that tape again. But let's stick it. So let's let's get right on the phones. Shall we? Shall we, viewers? What? What? A uh, what? Who's on the phone today? Mm, Mr. Ginsu. Maybe, maybe Mr. Gitsu came on. Go, phones, go. What did I see today? What have I been out there? I've been like, it's sun, the sun, and people are out. Everybody is fair weather people, and they come out on the, uh, when, it's summer, when the sun comes out, and people are out there. They're doing their summer thing. Even though it's not quite the summer yet, they get out there real fast, and then we get old after a while, but people are out there in their summer attire. Getting used to their the new life, they're, the, 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 they've for, forgotten their old life so fast, and have moved on to this new this new life of uh, summer in the summer. Is this going? I don't know what it's doing. One more time, one more time with the message. Oh, <laughs> the phones, the phones.
Still not working. I'm trying to get this. Oh, there it goes. So I seen on the news at work. Motherfucking somewhere in this fucking god fucked up country. <laughs> people who believe in God are fucking assholes. Because this girl was going to a private Christian school. She got pregnant. And so now they think that she doesn't get to graduate. Uh oh. Hey, fuck you, whorebag motherfucking Christian motherfuckers. Just because they said she was, uh, what's that word for fucking, like, people like me? Atheist? Um, Blasphemous? What is that fucking word they use? Heathen? To describe her. Immoral. Ha! Fucking immorality starts with the person who kicked her out of graduation. That motherfucker, cunt, dick sucker, whatever fucking dick, fucking whatever the fuck person that fucking might happen to be, is immoral. They're at a Christian school though. Think about Jesus, you, you fucking to, cunt bag. Go to a regular school. Jesus, or someone, humped on a little girl and said, Oh, look at the immaculate conception that came from the sky. Now, we all know it don't work that fucking way, whore. So fucking quit with the fucking kicking the little girl out of fucking graduation, motherfuckers. And your fucking school sucks dick. And uh, wow. fucking that ain't... Oh, mm, what else is there? Your school is horrid. It's hor horrid. It's horrid. Hor hor horrid. And not because the little girl got pregnant, neither. It's because of you Christian motherfuckers with your fucking dumbass rules to say you can't be like Jesus or Mary and get pregnant when you're young. How do they know that wasn't some sort of immaculate conception, motherfucker? Prove it, prove it was fucking not immaculate, and then fucking kind of call me back. And all that's all I'm saying is if you're gonna kick the girl out for fucking get pregnant, first you gotta prove who got her pregnant. And if she says God got me pregnant, well, fucking who's you to say it, it ain't God that got her pregnant? Huh? 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 <sighs> Which one of you motherfuckers wants to step up to the plate and say and disagree with me? Anybody? Yeah, Mr. Kings is probably in bed already though. Even though it's the daytime. Well, maybe not. Should we call him back? I think he's asleep. I don't want to call him. He's not asleep. Well, I'm gonna let him sleep. I think we talked to him yesterday. <sighs> All right, who's the next one? <laughs> What are you doing, y'all, fella? He's got a full song going for himself. A bum 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 ba dum ba. Yellow fellows, a song. He's calling back out there. He's in Philly. Yellow fellow, what's it like in Philly? What are you doing out there in Philly? You reading those cheesesteaks? You see the real video bell? You see that TV show? You ever see Danny DeVito? Hey, yellow fellow. Are you friends with Danny DeVito? 
is about uh, those other people. He doesn't have a voicemail box. If he answers, we'll tell him about his voicemail box. He'll uh, fix your voicemail. Oh, we're going to leave you a voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Bye. You're sorry. I'm sorry. Here, we got one more message. It's from Freddie the producer. What do you have to say today, Freddie the producer? Something? Oh, we gotta update our system. It's slow. But if it was faster, then what would we do all the time? Really? Hey, program. It's Freddy, the producer. Hey, um, in case. <laughs> in case what? Hey, Freddy, it's uh, for uh, in case. That's uh, ominous. Here we go, we're calling him back, calling Freddy back. Say, hey, Freddy, calling you back. In case what? In case of emergencies, please. Here's what you do if there's an emergency. Is there an emergency, Freddy? Hey, program. Hey, Freddy, how are ya? I'm doing good. I'm uh, in a car on the freeway in traffic. It's uh, going, going all right. You backed up? Uh, heading up to Tacoma, yeah. We're trying to get to this baseball game for a friend's birthday. Rainiers? We're going to go to the Rainiers, yeah. We made a sign. What does it say? It says, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Your uh, your message cut yeah. out. Your message said, um, in case, and then it cut out. Oh, what? Really? Oh. Uh, wait, how much did you hear from the message? He just said, hey, program, in case, and then we didn't get to hear, in case what? Oh, really, I was going to say, in case I'm not available to answer the phone, phone tomorrow, I wanted to tell you about the um, the little box of tapes that's in front of the couch right there. Uh, yeah. they, that's from Christer, our friend Christer. Chris, he's a friend of the program. He's been on the program a few times. But that's a box of tapes that um, he has. I don't know how we got a hold of these, but... They, they appear to be, like, digitized, uh, maybe film. And some of the stuff dates back at least until 1960, the 1960 times. So there's, like, footage from the far past on that stuff. Um, and he wanted to donate or give those to the program for us to use however we want. But he has been hoping to maybe find that family, the family that is on it. I think they're all uh, from the same family. So it's like footage from various different family events and, and times that they've been recording. Oh, this, and, one, this one says uh, Mongolia. Mongolia? Maybe they maybe the family took a trip to Mongolia. I'm not really sure. But basically, he's hoping that maybe with the uh, maybe the program can help find the family. So he wanted us to put on the uh, graphics something that said like, "Do you know this family? Call the number" type thing. But maybe just, and I know we got rid of the number, but maybe just when the family is on there or something, if you're watching it, you could do that. Or you could not. It probably doesn't matter. I think that he was just hopeful for that. But it seems like it's some really cool stuff. I didn't get a chance to look at any. I just picked it up from him yesterday. And uh, it seems like some really good stuff to watch. Maybe make some uh, background or event tapes with. Uh, this is yeah, actually, that's what this is the home message mo said. This is home movies from Mongolia. In the background, you can Wait, see it's a Mongolian family? Um, no, well, I don't know. They're in Mongolia, though. 
crazy. It is in, yeah, I figured if it said Mongolia, it'd probably be there, but... That's crazy. Yeah, they're all home movies. This is Mongolia. Well, you're looking into Mongolia. Probably, did it say a year on Mongolia? Yeah, and it doesn't have a year on it, but it's in like 4-3. I mean, I bet you it's like Mongolia in the 70s, that the latest, 70s or 80s or something. Like, at least one of the ones that I opened up, I didn't get to play it, but I opened it up, and it was, um, like, they had it professionally digitized. Like, it wasn't originally on VHS. They took it to some kind of place that digitized the, um, the like, actual film onto VHS. It's hard to know when it's from because Mongolia could be old-looking. Yeah, that's true, but it's definitely not modern. You could, I mean, maybe you can, like, uh, keep your eye out for some telltale signs, like maybe uh, a newspaper or, um, a ca- like, like, a calendar. calendar. A yeah, watch. calendar on the yeah. wall. I'll keep an eye out for that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, look for that. Or, like, uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I guess it's hard to say. I have no idea what Family Mongolia was like any time, so. It's pretty, but, uh, yeah, that was, that's an exciting thing. we got some cool taste to watch. I'm watching it. He's talking, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're talking on it? They're going horse, yeah, horse riding and stuff. He's, like, narrating to the camera. Oh, weird. Okay, so if it's, if there's narration, that means it probably wasn't. It must have been on like an actual VHS camera, or at least some kind of modern i8 type camera, because I think if it was shot on 16 millimeter or 8 millimeter before, there would be no way for them to get audio because audio and video were completely separate for a long time. So yeah. that definitely puts it closer to the 80s than to the like 60s and maybe 70s though. Could be. It looks newer just because it's in, it's in 4.3. And there was because a- it's in 4.3. Yeah. What do you mean? That's like everything was in 4.3, right? Before. Or whatever color. There's block. It's like in widescreen. Oh, it's in 16 by 9? Yeah, I think so. It's at least widescreen. I don't know what it is. That does seem pretty modern then. That's interesting. I'm not sure. No, there's definitely some really, really old stuff in there too, but I mean, I guess it's still probably old enough. Yeah. How's the production end going? Whoa, Production end is that, going good. I just edits. I just turned in some stuff um, today, so we're all, we're scheduled to the weekend. We're doing good on on YouTube, and uh, right. there was like one episode that some reason only captured 15 minutes, but I recaptured it last night. That was tomorrow's episode, and it's gonna go on TV, no problem. So yeah, it's all good. Good. Going smooth. Oh wait, we did have that whole mix up where I guess I uploaded two of the same episode and titled them as two different episodes and the Shred Life. I mean, I'm glad it happened to the Shred Life people because if I did it on any other episode, I don't know that anyone would have noticed. So, yeah. Um, but they definitely noticed and we fixed it. Good. I'm going to have to let you go for right now. Actually, we're, we're stopping in at Costco for a second to get some hot dogs before the um, game. We're going to get the fifty hot dogs instead of the $8 hot dogs. Oh, that's good. I like hot dogs. Bye. All right, bye. All right, yeah, let's listen to this for a little bit. Mongolia dialogue. The hill we're at. And looking off behind this monument down in the valley see the girds and the houses and all that goes with this. Watch you and me again. And call Christer. Some odd steps is this particular monument. Shows a soldier with an upright vada. It's a mixture of Russian buildings that are, many of them falling apart. Russian buildings from Mongolia. Off in the very distance. You can 
a nuclear like Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna find Chris there. We're here at the Buddha. Oh, the Buddha. Now that guy must be. Ten, ten feet tall. Fifty feet high. Fifty. Going to have uh, our lunch. These are all rolling hills. <laughs> rolling hills. What's a, what's a rolling hill? We can roll water right supply up. here. Whoa. Home movies. There's a memorial statue. You should just go and study. There's a one very big bird, which is the image of the bird Hunger. Yes. Hunger. Can you see that? So that it looks a bit awful. We call that this mountain as a bug Khan. It's just backside of that mountain, Olambazar City State. You visit just backside of that mountain, uh -huh. and uh, Bhutan, we are, we are Bhutan Mountain is so one of the first strictly protected area. It's a cemetery? Young horses. Wild Tethered. horses? Are they wild? Were they and over here, they're milking the mares. If you got, got your picture, the next street can go. <laughs> You <laughs> horses. He's milking the mare there. He's milking. I got the colt next to him to keep Mil the mare quiet. Milking a cow? I mean a horse. Horse milk, huh? Poor. Very old crossbow. The arrow is actually a torch, so they could fire it out. At Cause a fire in the gurs or wherever. So that you wish to repair like the shafts here. Yeah. Yeah. We're inside a restaurant gur. Notice all the pelts that are up on the ceiling. Where's um, Mongolia? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Mongolia? Oh, well, movies. Where did this come from? Krista, where are you? This is a single bed over there. Stove here in the middle. Going up into the outlet. Hospital. <laughs> Going around. Hospital. Little table over there for coffee. The second bed is here. Generally, they have two to the gur. But I guess I was fortunate and got a single. Very neat, quite decorated, and it must be about 20 foot across or maybe a little bit more. Running a little bit higher after the rains, it's starting to rain here again.
Old pain. Old pain. Kids are down there trying to determine whether we're going to make this forward or Big decisions being made. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that looks to be the road seems nope. a tad steep on the other side. Yes, it does. That's just a tip. Is that a real house, boy? Is that a real house? A real house? The river might come up another foot or two if we had gone across. So all they eat. The tour members are out walking up the side of the mountain. We're going to spend a little time here and then head to. Going to ford that portion of it. Lots of pretty good sized, aren't they? Yeah. Should I take a picture now? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not good as well. Oh my gosh, what can you do that? Put on to the head, you quickly, they're very sharply cooked, yes. okay? Very quickly. You do it up. Who wants to take the... Queuing up the past tape and we can record the message of the future. Okay, bye. Bye. Which meaning is his mother has got to born the new baby. Oh, baby. He like the milk and this is half the stuff. The best is taking it. Well, here are the reindeer that we've gone two hours and more up those roads to get to see. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Remember when we were looking at this uh, stuff from the uh, from Mongolia? It's Whoa, they're riding, this little lady's riding a reindeer. All right, look at that. It's uh, Thursday. Now we're gonna spend an hour or so riding on a yak cart. Are you? Go right ahead, you're part of it. <laughs> a yak cart. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Sue. Come on, Sue, get on the cart. Get on the yak cart, Sue. So just get on the yak cart. All the horse riders are on that side. They're going out for an hour horseback riding. I had too much cabbage for okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to stay right away from the wheel. Yep. Yeah. Old people, old well, white people <laughs> in Mongolia. It's very hard to be driven through mud, water, over rocks. Your bones were very well, but you, you have imagine. technology, all that stuff. You know all that stuff. <laughs> 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 Okay. 
Yeah. 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 How are you? Yeah. Oh, real good. Thanks for asking. Hey. Actually, I start laughing because I, I remind you of the, the lake. This is a very, very large <laughs> lake. Is it parking situation? Is it safe? It's uh, Tuesday. This day. It's 120 kilometers long and at its broadest is 30 kilometers. And it's very deep. Hey, future, it's us, the pack. Okay. Birds back for day two. Hello. It's Wednesday today. We talk about uh, the FBI a little bit. What is uh, that? Fish mask? Yeah, scary fish mask? Yeah, I thought I was doing laundry. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the laundry. Okay, bye. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Remember when we were looking at this uh, stuff from the uh, from Mongolia? Yeah. It's oh, they're running. This little lady's running a reindeer. All right. Look at that. It's oh, oh Thursday. Now we're gonna spend an hour or so riding on a yak cart. Oh. Go right ahead. You're part of it. <laughs> Mongolo is a Mongolian little dancing thing here. Mongolian sounds like Native American. Can I get a fix your mask? You ever been to Mongolia? I guess, I guess this is what it's like there. What's it like in Mongolia? China? I think it might be an island by China. Calling John Webster. Hey, hey John Webster, have you ever been to Mongolia before? You're blessed. <laughs> They're blessed too. And blast. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. John Webster. Zero, John John five, Webster. Ba 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 ba. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. John, it's the program. Where Hello. are you? Oh yeah, there's a rainbow. Ooh, rainbow. 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 Yeah. Very nice Henry. I'm looking at a video from uh, Mongolia. They're gonna make a big fire. What's it like in over in your end? What are you doing? How's baseball? How are you? What's what's the deal? Um, how many bonfires have you seen recently, John? Are they gonna cook something? Okay, hot. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. back. <laughs> you know that song, I think, I bet, who wants to bet that song? Also, Mongols is very popular for us. 
singing open down on It's a cultural exchange. Traditional American old people song. Hey. trucks in the river itself they're trying to tow out. Where are you going? Oh flies. We may be staying staying here for a while until that river goes down. It rained very hard last night. You flooded in in Mongolia. Well I guess they made it back though. And this is going to be the <laughs> must have made it back. Look at those 
flood the, uh, those rams like in the middle of the river. The people are in the middle of the river too. I don't think it's too deep, but look out, you're gonna get swept away. Always want something crazy happen in these videos. I don't know where they came from. Well, they're out in the middle of the river and they aren't getting very far. The truck or the van they're trying to tow the other one out with is only a Oh. oh, the thing is, they've got the second one. Oh. There it goes. Here was another one that was dumb enough to try it. He hit the soft part of the bank. And now, are you stuck also? The ball stuck. There's only one now they got there. They're, they're eating. It's like the flies on the ladies and stuff. The voice is coming from us, too. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh geez. It's like a funny movie. <laughs> it's like a funny movie. Get out of the river, man. Be around to you, okay? No, no. Also, Bodo, can you? It's gonna lose your eye, you know. It gets into your eye. Bodo, Bodo. To try to get this one, yes, maybe no, yes, maybe no. A lot of them are still stuck in there, huh? We drove back across this smaller stream to be sure to be on the back side. We're not going to wait an hour to see if the river goes down at all. So we got idea. four vans that are stuck out in the island, river. And the island zone or oh, the river? How did that even I happen? I don't in see the, that they got a the chance or a hope to get out of there. How did they get in there in the first place? Get out of the river! That's not where vans go. Van, vans are, should be out of the river. Probably none of those vans get hit by one of those logs. Those logs that are moving down the street. Current is moving very fast. Yeah, the van's not getting carried away though, luckily. Maybe it's gonna float though. Maybe it's got some tires on it. We've the tires floating, the whole thing causing the tires. Two hours. Now we have to ford it here. And they're trying to determine where we're best to do it. It's running off a of full here. Point. And we got our guide up there relieving himself. <laughs> Restrooms are wherever you stop. Yeah, you got the video of your guy Pete. Talking that over again. We're going to try this section of the river. See if we can make it through. Well, we made it a this across. Bobo, move just a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm to a village. If you get a to the hour, get it. How far does this need you to take it? That's why. Maybe, maybe you could. Maybe. Goats. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many goats. Wow, I think they eat them. Or is he milking them? One by like going down the line. It's a lot of milk to go. A lot of goats to milk. Are they gonna get the goat milk? Probably easier to keep take care of goats than cows. Well, you have to have more of them, I guess. And they have bigger horns. Maybe they're gonna. Yeah, but the cows are just bigger in general. Well, those are cows. Oh no, those are still the goats. They got 
It's all goats here. It's a goat farm. Ah! <laughs> right, <Abe. laughs> <laughs> right, riding, riding a sheep in Mongolia. Oh, ho, ho, oh. Oh my god, just look at this. What are you going to do with it? Throw it over the fence? We're at this nomad camp. I just saw some of the goats there milking. They got the whole family, including kids, down to about five or six years old out there helping do the milking. Very large, large flock of sheep. Living in a hut. I'm not sure they live in. Yeah, I'm sure it's not sure. I'm not sure. It's better. It's uh, when we are going back. And they heard of, uh, I'm going to all of you one time. Uh, it's struck by far art. Main five part. Mm -hmm. First of all, here is what we call the smoking hole. We call the ton. 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 Ton also to window. Window. Uh, window. Uh, good. Window. Yes, window. Smoking hole. And here is the two column, which is which place is the grasses mm -hmm. uh, growing very high. They cut it, they cut it and hold the land. And they prepare a lot of grass. There are a lot of grass and also a lot of feet. Just, uh, oh, every morning they pay <laughs> <laughs> No matter. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, okay. Later on, you're gonna think that at the bus, you're gonna ask me. Really. They're tourists. Now I'm never taking it later on, okay? okay. Directly answered. <laughs> yeah, then they know yeah. they're on video. I would say this is probably 80s, right? Or It's hard to know. Early 90s? It's hard to know because it's in Mongolia, so what, it's like an old people. Okay, guys. Probably dead. Probably the 80s. Alright, that'll work. Group photo. Okay, we'll take a seat. Go stand there, Arna, please. <laughs> it's a video of the group okay, photo. Guys. Uh, put your camera down, you gotta get in that photo camera guy. We're at this nomad camp. You can see where the sand hills are encroaching on the land. Sand hills. This is near desert conditions. Yeah, yeah, we get some He that rides a horse in the horse races that we're going to be seeing I'm looking at some of the other tapes we got in the next couple of days or our corn This monastery goes back to the 1800s. Oh, there's China from 2001. Yeah, this, so these are from two, like the 2000s. Vietnam, China, wow. Cruise tapes, all this guy, all of this, the same guy. I'm gonna be watching a lot of these. And this, these are film. Pigeons from hell. I think these might be movies. This old monastery goes this back This is all like traveling years. Asia tapes though. 
And at the point Film. now that it's nothing but a very large Jeff museum. Jeff at Camp Parsons, spring vacation. Dedicated to the beauty of the 70s Buddhist college religion. Stuff. Antarctica. Bob. Budapest. They're repairing the wall over there, and what it looks like is a brick. Lighting. Bricks Whoa. of stone on the outside with the dirt fill. The dirt seal. Dude, it's the, here's the sum of the sheep five, five. floor. Five, five. Was that okay. peanuts? Very simple game. Okay. It's five, 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 five in each five. hand. We're going to hide in, uh, yeah, hit in, in our, from our palm, and we need to guess the numbers. It's a board of together. Yeah. Just a good oh, sum of the total. Oh. Sum yeah. of the total. So How one, many? two, three. I say four peanuts together. Better. How much should you say? Five. Okay, five open two. Five. 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 <laughs> then I have to give to him, oh, and then go continue. Oh, and until you finish. That's one game. Okay, next game. Maybe explain with your okay. handful. Mm-hmm. Okay, next game is when we are through after these games. It's a, for example, it's many of you. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you more. It's easy to understand. Through after these uncles. Uh, here is the. Okay. First of all, I have to introduce the something. Yeah. It's a horse. It's all, otherwise, it takes too long. To uh, it's probably from two thousand early two thousand. We're we gonna choose in the four 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 sheep and bone. And we throw it, okay. When we are throw beans, uh, I put it here yeah. with my horse. You start from here. Okay. Start, start from, from here. This. Yeah, we just okay. listen. We do it like this to make it clear. Mm -hmm. We start from this side, Bob. This we get to go around. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bob is number one. Mm -hmm. So your horse is gonna be beside his. Then next to uh, Bob's, your horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob. Yeah. 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 We have yeah. about ten yeah. lined yeah. up. So Robert, Yellowhead is going to the end, uh, or one uh, from the end. This could be you can have now luck we'll see how he does. Nah, it's a two camel. Two camel. Bob won the game. Bob! They are very good looking animals. Horses. Gonna ride you a horse, look real close, guy. You can see how they hobble them. Oh, what Take does that the mean? reins and tie the two front legs together. Oh. They got two hobbled and the others tied to them. You can't go anywhere with your legs tied together. Horses. Making concrete. <laughs> Mongolian style. Out of what? What are they building? Sidewalk? A filling in a post hole. Oh, filling in a post hole. It's the ugliest looking concrete I've ever seen in my life. Whoa, what's so bad about it? It looks fine to me. It's just gray looking. They're Maybe. building this fence. Yeah. It's going around the property and they're evidently doing this side here they've completed from up at that point that's gonna be a long fence through the fancy gates and they're headed down towards the fence line clear to the end who are they keeping out it's a big undertaking with very primitive conditions notice a fellow welding on the ground. Mm-hmm. What's on the ground? Welding? Other has been unusual, to say the least. There seems to be always rain clouds near the horizon or else it's raining like no one's business. Who do you see a cloud on the face cloud? Is it raining? I don't Weather know. is very changeable here. The see. temperature now is probably in the low 70s. That's, that's pretty cool. The Gur that you see there the Gur? is one of the world's largest. The world's largest that Gur. That is the restaurant for this Gur camp. We're putting up a Gur, Gur tent here. You can see 
The main posts are up in the ring at the top. Uh huh. And now they're inserting the poles directly into the top of it. Top of the girl. Once that's done, then they put the inner liner on it. Letting the girl. And the felt goes over it. Felt. And then the outer covering, the waterproof covering, goes over that. Yeah, I felt it was like a very good spot for rain. I counted one of them, and there were 80 poles that went around it. What do you got for them? Well, they've got one more to go on the roof trusses. Are you going to get up there? At the f end, there's gotta... a hole in there, and they got a rope that they tie into the lattice work. Well, here's the group that's going to go horse riding. Well, what happened to the girl? You can notice the size of the ponies. What about the size of them? This small? Girl that they were putting up, and the, they're now beginning to wrap it on the side with with the with the felt. Is it done yet? Once they get that put on the waterproofing across the top and then tie it all the way around like this finished one here is done. I'm gonna finish the girl. They hold it this time of year. And it's gonna consist mostly of horse racing, wrestling, and archery. Little kids on their horses. Large people and horses. Motorcycles. Oh. Hey, show's over, everybody. We'll, we'll watch the rest of this video tomorrow, okay? Thanks for watching. It's Thursday. 3604364304. You can call and leave a message to get on TV. YHWM.com, 109 State Avenue, number three. Check it out. We're here. Watch these tapes. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, the baby. Jordy E. Fabulous. Graham Graham. Stopspot.com, John Webster, Thurston County, Washington City. We'll say thank you. Viewers, as you, you're watching, thanks. Hell yeah, dog.